everybody. This is Tim Voss with FinancialCyclesWeekly.com, and we're here today to talk about what is really going on behind the scenes with the current banking crisis in the country of Cyprus. This is very, very important information if you're concerned with the markets, if you're concerned with geopolitics, and the fact is Cyprus has been in the news fairly constantly over the last uh, week or 10 days here as we record this. Uh, lots of efforts to resolve the big banking crisis there, uh, intervention by the European Union, uh, votes in the Cypriot Parliament, uh, lots of dispute going on. As we record this, things are still not resolved. And so what we want to do is take a look at what's actually happening behind the scenes, what brought this situation about, what we can expect both geopolitically and astrologically for for the causes of the, uh, these events and also take a look at what's coming up in the future with Cyprus. Of course, Cyprus is a very small country. It's located in the eastern Mediterranean. Uh, it is, in fact, uh, closer to Syria and Lebanon than it is uh, to most of the, the rest of Europe. Uh, but we, it is the easternmost Mediterranean component of the European Union, and so it has some interest in that regard. It's a very, very small uh, economy, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it contributes only about 0.2% of the total uh, uh, EU. Uh, uh, economic uh, uh, influence. So uh, it's very, very small. So the question is, why should a crisis matter there at all anyway? The fact is, Cyprus is a haven for international finance. Because of uh, liberal banking policies, it has attracted uh, depositors from around the world, but especially from Russia. The Russian oligarchs, with a lot of the newfound money after the fall of the Soviet Union, uh, have been trying to expatriate expatriate as much of their capital as possible. They've been depositing a lot of it in the banks in Cyprus. Now, Cyprus, uh, through its banking system, has been a big buyer of Greek bonds. And this has meant, uh, uh, like most of the rest of Europe and a lot of uh, investors from around the world, uh, as the uh, Greek situation worsened over the past few years, uh, the bondholders had to take a haircut. They lost about half of the net worth of the bonds that they were holding. So this has been a big financial blow uh, on Cyprus along the way. Cyprus has huge uh, untapped fields of natural gas offshore. Uh, they are undeveloped and it would take about five years or so uh, to actually begin production uh, in a best case scenario through these natural gas uh, fields. But this is a resource that Cyprus may eventually be able to fall back on uh, for some more economic stability uh, in the long run. Uh, for the short term, however, the whole economy is centered around the banking industry, which is over seven times as large as the GDP in Cyprus. As a result, the government has accrued a huge governmental debt. This is what has the rest of Europe worried. And so uh, the European Union has offered a $13 billion bailout. It's a 10 billion euro bailout uh, to Cyprus with one big catch attached. Uh, they want Cyprus to impose $7.5 billion in taxes on the deposits that are held in the banks in Cyprus. Needless to say, this has upset a lot of people. And we have seen a big impact of this crisis uh, around the world as well. There has been a lot of instability uh, in the currencies markets. We have seen the euro decline in value as a result. We're uncertain about its ability uh, to bring this crisis to a, 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 a suitable resolution. Uh, in addition to that, the Russian ruble uh, dropped very, very sharply on the news of this uh, crisis in Cyprus. At the same time, there's been increased speculation in the precious metals with gold uh, uh, popping back above $1,600 an ounce uh, for the first time in some months. So uh, we have seen a rebound in the precious metals. There was a lot of uncertainty in the equities markets connected with this announcement of the crisis as well. Uh, the stocks around the world declined most uh, dramatically in Europe, but there are also declines uh, in the U.S. and in other parts of the, uh, the country. Now, as a result of this, what we are seeing is evidence of a push by the Russians to become more prominent 
uh, in the global financial markets. This is a, a, a big part of the Russian strategy. And in fact, uh, what has happened here during the crisis, Cyprus has appealed to Russia to help with a bailout here uh, to offset some of the demands of the European uh, Union. Uh, so far, the Russians have refused to do so, but they're heavily, heavily invested in the outcome in uh, Cyprus. So they're going to be keeping a close eye uh, on this situation. The Russians are very active behind the scenes, not only as uh, investors uh, and depositors in, in Cypriot banks, but they own a lot of, of the banking shares themselves and have other interests as well uh, in uh, uh, Cyprus. Uh, so uh, with the Russians pushing for a larger role in global finance, we need to keep a very close eye on the Russian front here uh, as the Cypriot banking crisis continues to unfold. We may uh, see drastic moves on the part of uh, the Russian government. Uh, some have even suggested that they may try uh, to announce a new ruple uh, that's backed in gold, which would of course be devastating to the fiat currencies around the world, most especially the U.S. dollar. There's a lot to keep an eye on here uh, with Russians' in involvement uh, in the situation. Of course, there's also been, as a result of this crisis, a, a renewed emphasis on the erosion of trust in the banking industry as a whole. This is not really news. Uh, it's been going on for quite some time, but it's gotten extra emphasis because of this crisis situation. Uh, now, most importantly here, what this situation is doing as they consider a resolution to the crisis, it looks like there will be some kind of levy or tax on bank deposits uh, held in Cypriot banks. If that's the case, this is an enormously important piece of information because for the last uh, 80 years or so, there has been an, uh, an international agreement that bank deposits were sacrosanct. You could do all kinds of things in currency situations, but you needed to protect the bank depositors. In the U.S., we have the Federal Deposit Insurance Commission, the FDIC, uh, to insure deposits uh, on uh, the, the part of people who put their money into banks. So the idea that you can put money in a bank and then have it confiscated by a governmental authority uh, is very, very strong news indeed. This can set a precedent for the con confiscation of wealth around the world in a variety of banking situations. That's why we need to be so concerned about how things unfold in Cyprus. So the question is, why is this all happening in Cyprus? And more importantly, why is it happening right now? And for the answers, we can turn to the astrological picture. We can look at the national horoscope for Cyprus, uh, back to its uh, Declaration of Independence on August 16th, 1960, uh, in Nicosia, Cyprus. And as we look at the chart, there are particular positions that we can flag, certain planets in the horoscope that we can identify as the major money influences in the chart. When these planets get impacted by other astrological dynamics, we can expect financial news about Cyprus. So that's what we're looking at. And sure enough, what happened between March 17th and 20th, we had the Mercury direct station, which came just on the eve of the WD GAN New Year, that is to say, the spring equinox in the Northern Hemisphere. A very, very important time astrologically, a high power time. Uh, we have talked about this with our Gold Plus Elite members here at FinancialCyclesWeekly.com, written about it in the newsletter, uh, spoken about it on a number of occasions about how critical this time frame is. This is when things came to a head in Cyprus. And as we note here, this inner circle is the national chart for Cyprus. We can see at the time of this Mercury Direct Station on March 17th, uh, there were planets lining up with the money planets in the national horoscope for Cyprus. A very, very powerful configuration. This is part of what triggered this big event at this particular time. Now, the fact is that the Cyprus crisis will not 
be resolved quickly. We may see news, and in fact, we're quite likely to see news about a resolution having been reached with the Cyprus uh, banking situation. Uh, trust that uh, with a, a great deal of caution, because uh, what's going on here is an attempt to assuage investors and to keep the markets happy. And the idea that there will be a resolution that's lasting uh, is probably not going to hold water at this particular point. So we want to keep an eye on the situation. And in fact, based on our astrological studies, we can identify specific dates in the future when this crisis is likely to come into focus in different ways. So jot down these dates, watch for news on Cyprus uh, at these particular times, and of course in between as well. But we look for uh, particular resolutions uh, or developments in the banking crisis or a further understanding of the implications of the banking crisis to occur on these dates. The first one comes up on June 26, 2013. This is the next time that Mercury goes retrograde, and as it does so, uh, the Mercury uh, position has a strong impact on Pluto, one of the money planets in the uh, national horoscope for Cyprus. Then on November 7, 2013, we have Jupiter um, making a retrograde station as well. And like Mercury, it also forms uh, a precise alignment uh, to Pluto in uh, the Cyprus national chart. Big, big potential impacts on financial situations at those specific times. But it doesn't stop there. If we go into the spring of 2014, on April 29th, we have a solar eclipse that impacts Jupiter, one of the key money planets in the Cyprus National Horoscope, as Pluto lines up with Saturn, a very, very significant planet in terms of the debt situation uh, in the country. And then Finally, on October 23rd, 2014, there's another solar eclipse that impacts several additional factors uh, in the Cypriot national horoscope that are connected with the financial picture overall. So in a nutshell, then, what we're looking at is a banking crisis that is not short term. We can expect the implications to play out at least for the next couple of the, uh, years and quite possibly longer than that. You'll find more information about applying astrology to the markets and to geopolitics, as well as more information on the Cyprus banking crisis and other uh, market news at FinancialCyclesWeekly.com. Encourage you to go there and look at the resources we have available. This is Tim Bost, editor and publisher at FinancialCyclesWeekly.com. Thanks so much for taking time to join us today.